everyone and welcome back to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. It's your girl Crystal. We're in the kitchen because I'm making buttermilk waffles. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as you can see, I jumped right into this video. What you see me doing right now is I am sifting one and a half cups of flour. This is just regular all-purpose flour that I'm sifting and I'm gonna be using that as the base for these delicious buttermilk waffles today, you guys. I know you're gonna love them. I know you're gonna enjoy them. So go ahead and sift your flour. You don't have to sift it, but I was like, hmm, people be sifting stuff. Maybe it's a good idea. I think I'll go ahead and I'll do it. Alrighty, and once you're done sifting your flour, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna add one tablespoon of sugar. You're gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder, and then you're gonna get your whisk and you're gonna mix that all together to make sure that it's combined really well. You want all your ingredients blended. And then you're gonna get a separate bowl for your wet ingredients and you're gonna do one and a half cups of buttermilk, six tablespoons of melted butter. You're going to do two eggs and you're gonna put in three fourth teaspoons of vanilla, okay? And as you can see, I went ahead and I had already whisked my eggs, like stirred them up together before I poured them in, so. It's just gonna make it easier when I'm mixing all my ingredients together. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do now. Now, once those are mixed together, you're gonna take your wet ingredients and pour them into your dry ingredients and you're gonna whisk it in. Now, the important thing here is you do not want to over stir or over whisk your batter. If there are lumps in it, that's fine. It's just gonna make sure that your waffle is nice and airy and fluffy. If you over mix your batter, your waffle will not be fluffy. So make sure that you mix it so that everything is combined well, like you see me doing here, scraping the sides of the bowl. But again, you do not want to over mix your batter. I want to say in total that I mixed my batter for about two minutes tops and I was very gentle. Now the last thing that you see me doing here is pouring my waffle mix into a separate measuring cup. You don't have to do this but I like to do it because it makes it easier for me to pour my batter onto my waffle iron. Get you some Pam, spray on your preheated waffle iron. Mm -hmm. just like that and then you're going to pour your waffle mix on there you want to pour towards the center do not pour all the way towards the edge of your waffle iron or it's gonna make a huge mess how I did it right here is all you need to do is gonna spread out as it cooks okay and when it's done, go ahead and lift it up. I like my waffles on a little bit of the lighter side, as you can see. So you're just gonna use a fork, go ahead, lift it up. My waffle iron has a green indicator light, so that's how I know when it's ready. I love that function on this waffle iron. And then you could go ahead, add your strawberries and your whipped cream, get everything nice and good for your waffle thank you so much to one of my subscribers t for getting me this waffle iron i appreciate you so much i really wanted a waffle iron for my birthday a classic waffle iron and now i have that thanks to you i appreciate you so much you didn't have to do that but you did and i really greatly appreciate it and i've been eating way too many waffles this is awful for my diet but i don't care i love waffles so much and again don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching.